As the movie begins, we see a middle-aged man named Joe waking up in a strange prison. Thick walls on all sides surround the open sky structure and a massive stone mill is in the center. Joe is confused because the last thing he remembers is working at his company Mallard and planning to gain a promotion. He desperately begins shouting for help, and suddenly Joe hears a voice from a nearby vent asking him to be quiet. The man realizes that Joe is new, so he tells him that it's pointless to shout because no one will help him. Furthermore, the mysterious man warns Joe that the next day will be the longest day of his life. Next, Joe attempts to climb the wall to escape, but to no avail. He then starts to cry, but moments later he hears a whistling sound. Just then, someone drops some food and water in his cell, so he rushes to the door, pleading for help. Joe explains that his wife is pregnant and that he must be there for her. However, the guard just closes the door slot, which injures Joe's hand. Later, Joe uses his tie to bandage his wound and eats the food. Suddenly, a light appears on the wall, and an AI welcomes him for advanced professional training. However, the AI does not respond to any of Joe's questions, and the logo on the wall fades away, leaving only a few digits. Confused, Joe approaches his neighbor and asks what is going on. The man reveals that they are here because of their poor work performance at their company, Mallard. The following morning, Joe receives food and water once again. However, he is shocked to discover a human skeleton on the ground. He quickly questions his neighbor about it, who verifies that it is the dead body of a person who was here before Joe. At first, Joe refuses to believe it because he does not think Mallard could kill someone. However, his neighbor informs him that before joining the company, they all sign the contract without reading it, which authorizes the company to even take their lives. Moments after, the AI begins speaking with Joe and describes his job. He learns that his task involves pushing the stone mill every day. He will be terminated if he does not meet his day's minimum quota of 50. However, it turns out that anybody in the prison who gets the lowest number will be terminated regardless of whether they meet their quota. The day begins at 6 a.m. and workers will have time to work until 10 p.m. Hearing this, Joe begs the AI to allow him to return to his family. However, his neighbor warns him that he is wasting his energy and that the company will not let him leave at any cost. He tells Joe to concentrate on his task and follow the AI's instructions. Having no other option, Joe begins working, and it is very difficult for him to push the rusty mill. Still, he uses all of his strength and completes a hundred rotations at the end of the day. The next morning, Joe begins his work for the day, and he thinks about his wife, Kate. He recalls the day they moved into their new home, and Kate was worried because the place was very expensive. But Joe told her that there was no need to worry because he had worked very hard for this. Kate then reminded him that they had an appointment at the hospital later. But Joe explained that he wouldn't be able to accompany her due to his work, which upset her. In the present, we see that Joe has completed 150 rotations on his second day. After his shift ends, a guard arrives and tells him to remove his clothes. Joe believes they are about to kill him and mentions how he accomplished 150 rotations today. However, the guard does not listen and orders him to strip. Joe is then led to another room where he is given water and soap to take a bath. As days pass by, Joe works hard every day in the scorching heat. When the heat becomes unbearable, he gets very thirsty and requests water from the guard. But no one comes to his help, so his neighbor informs him that the company will only provide him with enough water to stay alive. If he wants to drink more water, he should collect his pee in a bottle and then filter it through the soles of his shoes. However, Joe is disgusted by this idea and refuses to do such a thing. Following this, Joe continues to work, and we see a flashback of him and Kate. Kate was worried about the hospital bills and wanted to return to work. However, Joe had promised to look after her and refused to let his wife work in such a condition. In the present, an exhausted Joe collapses on the ground and realizes that he has completed 370 rotations today. 
The AI then appears on the wall and praises him for his outstanding effort. Moments later, Joe discovers the name Alex engraved on the mill handle. Curiously, he asks his neighbor about it, who informs him that Alex is a bit of an icon around here because he's the only person who has ever left this cell alive. Moments later, the AI rewards Joe for his good work today, but he feels disappointed to see that it's just a pen with his name engraved on it. Realizing Mallard doesn't care about anything, he loses his calm and screams vulgar words out of frustration. The next morning, Joe awakens to find that his target has been increased to 370 rotations due to his rude behavior. He shows his injured hands and declares that can't meet this goal. However, the AI informs him that humans are capable of much more than they believe, and all they need is a little push. Now, this further enrages Joe, and he begins insulting the company and throws away the pen. Sometime later, Joe begins his work for the day. To his dismay, he discovers that he has been further punished and that every two rotations will be counted as one, resulting in a new target of 740. With no other choice, Joe musters what little energy he has left to meet this daunting target. However, despite working tirelessly throughout the day, he fails to complete his target. Later, the AI informs Joe that he did not finish his task for the day. Joe asks why he is being punished, and the AI responds that it is because he didn't think about his other inmates. Just then, the AI displays Kate's picture on the screen and threatens Joe that Mallard will recruit her if he does not complete his task properly. Terrified by this, Joe pleads with the company not to involve her and promises to work hard the next day. Hearing this, the AI agrees to give him another chance and says that if he succeeds tomorrow, he will be free of the penalty. The next day, Joe wraps his coat around the mill handle and begins working with his injured hands. At one point, he becomes so exhausted that he begins hallucinating his other version. The man mocks him for trusting in Mallard and believing that hard work can save him. However, Joe ignores his words and continues to work. Just before the timer ends, he completes his daily target, and the AI congratulates him, informing him that his penalty has been removed. The following morning, when Joe awakens, the AI informs him that he will be rewarded for his hard work the day before. Joe then sees a video of Kate at the hospital with their newborn boy. This makes him very emotional, and he gets frustrated with himself for not being able to be with his family. Afterward, Joe asks his neighbor about Alex's escape since he wants to do the same. His neighbor initially refuses to tell him anything, but after hearing about Joe's newborn son, he agrees to help. The man claims that he is also a father and does not want Joe to miss out on parenthood. The neighbor informs him about the CCTV camera's blind spot behind the pillar, where Alex has drawn a mark on the wall. Joe then finds the wall and begins scraping it with the pen that the AI had given him earlier. After a few days of scraping the wall, Joe discovers a narrow tunnel behind the walls, so he decides to go inside and see if he can get out. Joe enters the tunnel, but sadly, he is captured by the guards and thrown back to his cell. Due to his actions, his target is increased to 1,000 rotations, and his neighbor is brutally punished as well. Joe apologizes to his neighbor who just yells at him and claims that they cannot control this place because it is run by an algorithm. Confused by his response, Joe asks him what he's talking about. Finally, the neighbor informs him that while working on the tech team with Mallard, he was one of the men who helped the company develop an algorithm that creates its own algorithm which now controls the entire Mallard. Joe is shocked and begins yelling about how everything that is happening to them is wrong. He tries to organize a union with his fellow inmates and persuade them not to work. He believes that if every inmate does not complete even one spin, they will all have a zero score, and the AI will be unable to execute either of them. The entire day passes, and no one touches the mill as Joe advised. However, the AI soon announces that failure to do the daily task will result in mass termination, and Joe will be held accountable. Fearing death, everyone, including Joe, gradually returns to turning the mill. However, his neighbor is unable to rotate since the guards broke his legs. Realizing that his neighbor is about to die, 
Joe finally asks his name. The man initially refuses to tell him, but after some convincing, he finally admits that he is Alex. Joe recalls Alex as the man who supposedly managed to escape. However, Alex claims that his attempt at running was a failure, just like Joe's. He claims he didn't tell this earlier because he hoped Joe would be able to escape this place. Alex says that his only wish now is to burn this place down. The two neighbors say their goodbyes and the guards eventually kill the poor man in cold blood. The next morning, the AI shows Joe another video of Kate playing with their kid who has begun to walk. This makes Joe very mad because he cannot believe he has been here that long. So, the agitated man starts screaming and accuses the company of ruining his life. The AI then proclaims that his inappropriate behavior can lead to his immediate termination. But Joe doesn't care at this point. Just then, a group of Mallard employees arrive, along with an HR representative named Johnny, who is preparing a fatal injection to kill Joe. Johnny then begins to mock Joe, claiming that he will look after Joe's house and wife after his death. This enrages Joe even more, and he begins pounding Johnny's face into the ground. When he notices Johnny is about to die, he stops himself and screams at the AI that he is not a monster and wants to quit. Suddenly, Joe awakens in a break room, surrounded by other Mallard workers dozing in chairs, connected to high-tech gear on their faces. Just then, Johnny, who is still alive, arrives and informs Joe that Mallard has developed a virtual reality experience to test and push its staff to reach their maximum potential. He reveals that Joe was only in the simulation for 60 minutes, although it felt like many days. Kate is still pregnant and everything else is still the same. After this, Johnny says that Mallard is quite impressed with Joe's abilities and is ready to promote him to the management department. He then takes Joe to his new office and orients him with his new goals and expectations. He even makes Joe sign an NDA declaring that he cannot discuss this incident with anybody. Still traumatized, Joe listens silently to every word Johnny says. After the HR leaves, Joe takes out his phone and calls his wife. She is startled that he has called her in the middle of his workday for the first time. Joe expresses his love and gratitude to his wife and even talks with his unborn child, saying he can't wait to meet him. He then informs his wife that he'll be home late, which is no surprise to her. However, Joe assures her that this time it's different. After he hangs up, Joe recalls all the torture he went through in the simulation. And as the movie ends, Joe looks at the camera and vows to burn down Mallard to ashes.